in Christ, you are now a new creation. It means that you are now of God, and God has reconciled you unto himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. The Bible says that whoever is of God is an overcomer. If you are of God, you are an overcomer. Because the Bible says you are of God in the book of uh, First John chapter 4, verse 4. It says you are of God, little children, and has overcome them because greater is he who is in you than he that is, that is in the world. Amen. And uh, uh, First John chapter 4, chapter 5, verse 4 and 5 says, what, For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. And that is our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? In Revelation chapter 21, verse 5, Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Said, And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Hallelujah. We want to pray tonight, people of God. In the book of Isaiah chapter 43, I want to quickly read from verse 16 to 19. It said, Thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty waters, who brings forth the chariot and horse, the army and the, pow the, army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They shall not rise. Yes. They are extinguished and they are quenched like a wick. But uh, I said, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. God said, behold, I will do a new thing and it will spring forth tomorrow. Huh? Next year. Once God alters it, once he says it, it begins to happen. And that is the order that God wants us to walk in, people of God. He said, I will do a new thing and now it will spring forth. He said, shall you not know? He said, when I do it, you will know. We were supposed to get snow, you know, last Last weekend. But God turned it around. God turned it around, you know, and we prayed and God turned it around. So when we saw this, the, you know, the, 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 uh, the wind, you know, the, the, the thing, you know, blowing, you know, going to another direction, we know that, uh, God, this is your work. So if I do it, you will know that I am the one. God is not some, some God, God will not do something and go and hide. Amen. He said, when I do it, you will know it. He said, I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Our sister gave a testimony about how God made way for her. God raised up someone, you know, that helped her, you know, to secure a job. And he didn't even know the person. And looking at everything, you can say that, ah, God, there was no way here, but you made the way. I know that you are the one that did it. So when God does something, you will know that he is the one doing it. He's the one behind it. I tell you, people of God, in the book of Mark, Matthew chapter 8, the Bible said a man came to Jesus requesting that Jesus will heal his servant. And Jesus was willing to go with this man, but this man turned and said, he said, sir, he said, I'm a soldier. Huh? I'm a soldier. I have men under me. I command them to do things and they do it. He said, you, I have seen you. I have heard you. You commanding powers beyond the sight of ordinary eyes and they, be, and they obeyed. He said, all you need to do is just to, decree a, is just to decree a thing and this thing shall be established. I tell you people of God, when you talk about order, order is the arrangement, the, the, the disposition of people or things in relation to, to, uh, to each other according to a peculiar sequence. A pattern or method. When you talk about order, you're talking about authoritative command. You're talking about direction. You're talking about clear instruction. When God gives your life direction, you know that you will end in victory. Amen. When he gives your life direction, when he told Abraham, he said, Abraham, I want you to leave your father's house, leave your people to a land that I will show you. Abraham believed God. And he ended up, he ended up big. He ended up being a friend of God. He ended up being blessed. He did, he would never, he did not regret that action. So whenever God is giving your life direction, know that he's leading you to a place that you cannot lead yourself. 
So tonight we want to pray. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 37, it said, Mark the perfect man. And know and behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace. The end of that man is peace. He said, but the, trans, but the transgressors shall be destroyed together. Who is a transgressor? A transgressor is someone that violates rules, right? You were given an order and you violated it. That is a transgressor. So if God will give you a, if God, if God will give you a direct order, a straight order, and you say that this is where you want to go, Know that you will, you, might, you will not end on. That's why, that, that's why the Bible says that there is a way that seems right unto man. But the, but the, you know, but, but the, the, the end is, is what? It, it, it leads to destruction. We're going to be praying tonight, people of God. Order is what keeps people in check. It instills, instills discipline. In the book of Judges chapter 13, verse 12, God sent an angel to the house of Mr. Manuel, and met the wife. And the wife said, the wife told the husband and said, okay, let's pray that the, the angel will come again. And when the angel came again, Mr. Manuel asked, he said, what is, this, what is this boy's rule of life? What order should this boy take? Because we don't want him to miss it. Say, so what is his rule of life? We're going to be praying, people of God. Bible says in the book of Mark chapter 9, verse 17 to 18, that a man came to Jesus and told him that certain powers have been given some strange orders to his son. He said, my son is handsome. My son is, 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 is intelligent. My son is bright. But there are, some, there are some wicked powers that will come and they will give him order. They will say, oh yeah, okay, rise up. He will rise up. Oh yeah, jump inside fire. He will jump inside fire. Oh yeah, jump inside water. He will jump inside water. He said he does things that, he, he, he said, this spirit, they, they, they want to destroy him. They, were, they, are giving so, they are giving some strange orders. We have heard of, 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 of issues that became a testimony about someone, whenever the person is driving and the person sees a butterfly, you know, flying, uh, you know, across his, his windshield, a windshield, the person will start, will stop, turn around and start going on because insanity is about to set in. So there are some strange orders, you know, that, so that, that, that the wicked that they give. And therefore, we must put ourselves under the protective hem of God. We must walk in righteousness. We must walk in divine power so that we will be able to issue order to every power issuing negative orders. Amen. You know, in the spirit realm, you know, you know words don't die. Words don't die. So if somebody tells you something, you need to release it immediately. That was why uh, David said, I must have the last word. <laughs> Goliath said his own, and, and David also had to, to, you know, to say his own. Otherwise, what kind of power does a, a, a boy have over you know, a proven warrior, a proven champion? We're going to be praying, people, people of God, tonight. The king, you know, Samson was under God's divine order until he violated that order. We're going to be praying the kingdom, of, the kingdom you belong to determines the order you obey. And the order you obey determines the direction that your, life, that your life takes. So I want you to please be prepared as we begin to pray tonight. God wants to empower us. God wants us to begin to issue orders in, because, it's, because a new season is a new season. God is bringing about a new season in our lives, in our church, in our families. That whatever thing that shows up that you don't like, all you need to do is to stand up in authority and issue an order. In Exodus chapter 15, the Bible said that the enemy said, I will pursue. That's an order. He said, I will pursue. I will overtake and divide the spoil. He said, my desire shall be satisfied on them. And I will draw my sword and my hand shall destroy them. But did that happen? It did not happen because God overturned it. So whatever order that the enemy has given, given against your life, tonight God Almighty will turn it around in the precious name of Jesus. We're going to be praying, people of God. The Bible says in Exodus chapter, uh, chapter 1, that uh, verse 8, said there arose a new king over Egypt that did not know Joseph. There arose a new king in Egypt that did not know Joseph. And as a result of that, they gave an order. And the people...
people of God, you know, the people of Israel, Jacob and his family, they came into Egypt as a guest. And that was why they put them in the best part of the land, Goshen. And all of a sudden, the people that were guests to the king. Now, uh, if you are a guest to the king, people don't want to mess with you. You are, a, you are a special people. You are a special, special someone. You must be treat, treated specially. But all of a sudden, people that were guests to the king, things just turned around. Why? Because some people rose and they gave an order. And people that used to be cherished now became slaves. And the Bible said that they set taskmasters over them. Why? Because someone stood up and they gave an order. Tonight, I want you to be angry in your spirit and begin to think about the orders that you want to give against all those wicked spirits, against all those powers that have come against you, against powers that have limited you, against powers that have delayed you, against powers that are, you know, that are affecting your progress, that are limiting, that are limiting you moving forward. I want you to be thinking about those things because you have the power. Jesus said, he said, I give you authority. He, gave, he has given us that authority. And tonight we are going to be taking it. God has given it to us. I can give something to you, holding it up, holding it you know, to you, and you not receiving it. Tonight you want to receive it. Because Jesus is holding it to you. He said, I give you this authority. All you need to do is just to take it and walk in it. So tonight we're going to be praying, people of God. There are others that turn the lives of people around. You know, I think about this woman, this lady called, called Mary. There was an order. An order was given in the throne room of heaven. And an angel was dispatched. He said, go to Mary. The Bible said concerning him, in the sixth month, that was when the order was given. The angel Gabriel was sent by who? By God. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Now, with this description, how can somebody miss this person? Because the description was just so accurate, was just so perfect. He said, go to this person. Go to this city. This is the city you will find. You know, this is the city that you're going to find her. This is, she's among this tribe. This is her father's house. This is her fiancé. So there's no way you can miss it. So when orders are given, he comes straight. And God will issue an, an order in his throne room to favor you tonight in the precious name of Jesus. There are orders that result in your favor without you having to do anything about it. What did, jo what, what did Jacob do when God said, he said, Jacob, I love. Esau, I hate. What did Esau do? What did he do? A new order, he ushers in a new season. A new order ushers in a time of refreshing. And then when God ended affliction in the, in, the, in, the, in, in the life of the children of Israel in Egypt, God said, okay, let us start afresh. He said in Exodus chapter 12, he said, for this time will be the beginning of months for you. He said, now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt saying, this month shall be the beginning of months and it shall be the first month of the year to you. Because that was the last day that they received order from, the, from their taskmaster. Can we, can we arise on our feet? We want to pray, people of God. We want to pray, first of all. We want to pray. We want to baptize ourselves, you know, with the, with the, uh, we want to cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Say, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Avail for me tonight. Blood of Jesus, avail for me tonight. Go ahead and begin to pray. Pray, pray right now. Let's go ahead, go ahead and begin to pray. Ze fete te sete ye breke puzoto ye breke poshoto ye breke biada bada baba. Manda da bada re breke bozoto ye breke bozoto ye breke bozoto ye breke bozoto ye briada ba. Ze krie ke bozon toto ri breke bozoto ye priada ba santa ya krakabosho. Ze fete te sente ye breke bozoto ye riakapa. 
ma baro brefete ze krekete senteri breke busho toria for in Jesus precious name we are prayed as we begin to pray tonight people of God I want you to please know that every kingdom has its own order there are deliverance orders, prosperity orders, attacking orders. There are demonic orders. It depends on your type of kingdom. And in every kingdom, uh, it, uh, depending on the rank that you occupy, depending on the rank you occupy, uh, you know, you have orders, you have authority. The Bible says concerning the centurion. What is centurion? Uh, century is 100, right? So a centurion is... A commander, a captain, over 100. He knew his rank. And at the same time, Jesus also, he, he, also, he, he knows his rank as well. And that was when he said, he said in the book of Matthew chapter 26, he said, don't you think I can pray and my father will, give, will, will release more than 12 legions? He did not limit himself. That centurion was, you know, a captain over 100, right? But Jesus said, on the minimum, that's minimum. He said, if I pray to my father now, minimum, he can release 12 legion. So, and a, and a legion is how many? 6,000, right? So, 6 times 12 is, is what? 72. So, you can imagine 72,000 angels. I don't think the people that came to arrest him, I don't think they were more than 72,000. 72, Even if they are more than 72,000, one angel is enough for them. <laughs> So know your rank. Know that, yes, the person that gave you the authority is not an angel. The person that gave you the authority is Jesus himself. And he said, you can imagine the authority that Jesus walked in. And he said, everything I did, he said, you, he said, you will do greater. So know that the Lord did not even, you know, like withhold anything from us. So we want to pray. When an order is issued, it also ushers in battles. I want to pray, people of God. One of the things that, one of the ways that battles enter into the life of people is when they engage in activities that unleashes battles that they cannot win. And as a result, they become a victim of circumstance. We want to pray, people of God. The Bible made, the Bible made us to understand when uh, God, when Jesus told Peter to step out of the boat and walk. Jesus was the one that told him to come. He's the one that have told us to come today. And that was why when Peter was sinking, was sinking Jesus was able to reach out. He said, I told you to come. I'm not going to allow you to sink. Peter, Peter cried. He said, Lord, save me. You want to cry out tonight? You want to say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me tonight and save me. Deliver me from demonic orders and powers drowning my efforts. My productivity, my rising, my deliverance, my progress, my marriage, my prosperity, my business, my family, my church. Go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, son of David. Have mercy on me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy on me tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver me from demonic others. Deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus from powers drowning my effort, powers drowning my productivity, powers drowning my rising. In the name of Jesus, powers, oh Lord, against my progress, against my deliverance, against my marriage, against my prosperity, against my business, against my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Zabo de ribreke po zoto yibreke po zoto yibreke po zoto yibreke po. Zakete sente ribreke po zoto ribreke po zatari akaba. For in Jesus precious name we are prayed. In Jesus precious name we are prayed. He that have told us to gather tonight is Jesus. He that has called for the snow program is Jesus. Amen. And he said that he will ensure that he has not told us to seek him in vain. So we will do ourselves a lot of help, a lot of, you know, favor tonight if we pray. You know, when you are praying, you are knowing, you know, 
when you are praying, you know that you are praying. And I know that when you pray, that God is here to answer. I want to pray, people of God. There are people fighting unknown battles. You are fighting battles that you don't know. And you, or you don't even know the people or the, the powers that you are fighting with. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter 9, Jesus saw a blind man, a blind man from his mother's womb and, uh, and asked, and the, his disciples asked, they said, Master, who did this man offend? And down the lane, you will discover that the, even their parents, they did not even have an answer for him. When the uh, Pharisees, you know, the, the, the chief priests, and they called them and they were asking them questions, he said, ah, he's of age. Ask him. He was, we, know that we, we, we know that he was born blind. Ask him. They did not even know the source of his problem. And Elder, uh, Dick and Adedre mentioned here yesterday that whenever you have uh, an electronic gadget and it is malfunctioning, what do you do? You press the reset button. So no matter what, no matter how far the devil has gone in your life, he that created you knew what he created you for. After, you know, I, 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 I do think about this. I ask my pastor, that, sir, why is it that people that the enemy is about to drown, the enemy is about to destroy, whenever they come here, God does turn their lives around. Say, so what is as in, what is, what, is, what is it? You know, what is the thing behind it? People that the enemy, have, you know, they, 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 they have said, yes, that we have finished our work. We have completed, we have completed work on this one. Or the next thing they need to do is just to put the person in the grave. And they come to the presence of the Lord. And till today, they are still standing. We want to pray, people of God. According to my default design in the book of Genesis chapter 1, God created me to be fruitful. He created me to multiply. He created me to fill the earth. He created me to subdue it and have dominion. We want to pray tonight, people of God. If there's any area of your life that is not manifesting this, you know, God will press, a divine, will press the reset button tonight. You want to say, by the power and authority in the name of Jesus, I decree a new order of fruitfulness, order of multiplication of blessings and favors, enlightenment and expansion, of territories, victories and dominions. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. By the power and authority in the name of Jesus. I decree a new order. Order of fruitfulness. Order of multiplication. Order of blessings. Order of favor. Order of enlargement. Expansion of territories. Victories and dominion. Over all forces, over all powers that limit and delays others. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ziba de Betteri Brekebo Zoto Y Brekebo Soto Yi Brekebo. Mada Bada 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 Zebe de Bede Bede Brekebo Soto Ye Brekebo Zoto Ye Brekebo. Basata Ya Praka Pazata Ya Praka Pazata Ye Brekebo. Ze Krekebo Soto Ye Brekebo Soto Yi Brekiada Badaba. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. You see, about the love of God, people of God, you see, there is nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do to end God's love. While we were yet sinners, he loved us. That is the state where, he, where, where, where we're even supposed to be irritating to him. You know, not wanting to have anything to do with us. Right in that state, he loves us. For people of God, you see... The favor, you see, God, God, God favors some people more than the others. You may think it's not fair, but people of God, if you can pay the sacrifice, you will, you will, you will see God. You will experience God. People of God, there are things that you can, there are things that you can do with your body. There are things you can do with your body that will release angelic activity. People say, oh, if I fast, I will die. You will not die. <laughs> or people say, what do you mean that you are praying for 
three hours, you are praying for six hours. What, what are you talking about? What were you talking about? It's not that you know, we don't have any other thing to do, people of God. But I read, in my, I read in my Bible, people of God, in the book of Exodus chapter 17, that when the Amalekites, they came, God told Moses to go to the top of the mountain. And God, and God told him to raise up his hands. And when Moses raised up his hands, there was a release of angels. And when Moses was tired and he was bringing down his hands, the angels, they were withdrawing. Right? Right? <laughs> And that was when Aaron and all, they came and they supported his hand. And they kept the hands up. So you are now telling me that people, you know, that are fasting, that are praying every day, every night. You say they will not experience God. And when God will do something in their life, you say, uh, you know, they are making it up. When you, walk in, when you walk with God, you will see God's power. You want to pray, people of God, you say, Father, you have called and I am here. As I begin to pray now. Let there be a release of angels to begin to fight my battles in the name of Jesus. Angels of a living God, go to my foundation. Go ahead and begin to pray. Pray, pray. Go to my foundation. Overturn every walk against my progress, against my moving forward, against my expansion, against my explosion. In the mighty name of Jesus. In all areas in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you have called the Lord for me to wait upon you and I am waiting. My Father and my God. You have called the Lord for me to appear in your presence and now I am here. Therefore I pray, O oh Lord, let there be a release. 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 Let there be a release, O oh Lord, of angelic activities, legions of angels to begin to fight my battles in the mighty name of Jesus. Angels of a living God, go to my foundation, destroy, overturn any work against my progress, against my moving forward, against my expansion, against my explosion in all areas in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we are praying. The Bible said concerning Daniel that the angel came to him and said from the day that he set his heart to seek God. From the very day that he set his heart to seek God through fasting and prayer, there was angelic release. There was angelic release. And when Satan, you know, uh, 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 willed the angel, what happened? God sent angels more powerful than that one in order to be able, God ensured that he got his request. Oh, Father, we thank you. We want to pray, people of God. We want to pray to release authorities over forces that have limited us, that have delayed us and dominated us so far. You see, we have the commander of commanders. He ordered, and fishes, you know, they swam into the net of Peter. And this was, and there was, and this was a professional that said that in this river today, there are no fishes. But when the commander of commander released an order, you know, I don't know whether it was true that there were no fishes, or, but, the, but because the order went forth, maybe the fishes were created at that instant. But when God issues an order, people of God, it has to happen. Irrespective of whoever has to, anyone that would die, would die. You see, for example, now, we have been praying that God will raise millionaires in this church. And I am one, you are one, you are one, you are one, you are one, in the name of Jesus. So right now, as we are praying, God is removing the million from the account of some people and putting it in our own account. If you like, say God is not fair. As long as it's in my account, I can show you. <laughs> Hallelujah. God ordered, you know, there was need for taxes to be paid. And God ordered, he said, a fish has been released, you know, from the vault of heaven. Go, and by the time you get there, that is when the fish also will get there. It was divine timing. Just get it, open it up. What you need is in there. It's an order. 
When God issues an order, people of God, your life will never remain the same. In this note, God is releasing orders that will turn your destiny around. That will turn your situations around. Uh, you think you have experienced blessing. You think you have experienced blessing. Who told you that blessings has finished, you know, from the vault of heaven? I'm going to pray, people of God. I'm going to be praying. Your rank in the kingdom is determined by the authority you command. There are things that happen that you will need a higher level of, of authority. See, there are times that people will come to my pastor and say, Pastor, this is what I dreamt about. Or this is what somebody told me. Somebody said this. Somebody called me and said, Ah, so you are still alive. <laughs> and you come and say, Pastor, what is happening? What am I going to do? And pastor will say, no, not once, not twice. Pastor will come here. Pastor will say, go and sit down. It's not going to happen. Not under my watch. That is authority. <laughs> and you see God do awesome things. Amen. We're going to be praying tonight. A man, in the book of Luke chapter 7, the Bible said a woman and maybe their family members or so, the woman is, was a widow, the widow of Nain. You know that woman, right? You know, you know the story. You may not know the woman, but you know the story. <laughs> yeah, and we've seen so many faces, we don't even know whether it's the actual one in movies and things like that. Anyway, <laughs> her husband died. That's why she's a widow. Her only son died. And she was going to bury the, the, the son. Now, what they knew to do was that whenever somebody dies, the best thing to do, according to uh, you know, their own understanding, you go and bury the child. Because they don't have authority, they don't have the order, they don't have the power to raise the dead. But as they were going, they met with someone that had the order. And the person said, and Jesus, they met Jesus, and Jesus said, I have power to raise this man. This man should not end in the grave. And he issued an order, and that man rose. You want to pray, people of God. You see, well, I don't know the level of your authority, but if your level of authority is not enough, we'll pray that God will increase it. Uh, that, uh, that, 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 that man that came to Jesus, he said, that Jesus said, do you believe I can do this? He said, ah, Father, please, help my unbelief. <laughs> he said, please, help my unbelief. Did he get his miracle? Ah, all right, so we're going to pray. So that means we have hope tonight, right? We're going to be praying. See, one thing I tried to do, uh, and I learned this from Apostle Paul, he said, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18, he said, the eyes of your understanding. Being... I didn't know that my mind has a highest. I didn't know that my eyes have, you know, my understanding has, uh, uh, you know, uh, highs. You know, you have, when, whenever I'm praying, I, 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 I visualize the actualization, the manifestation of what I'm praying for. You know, whenever you close, you know, that's why it's good for you to close your eyes, you know, when you're praying. When you are praying, you open, when you close your eyes, you open your inner eyes to endless possibilities in God. And your faith is being built. Your faith is being built. As you are praying, it, you are seeing that this thing is coming to fulfillment. You are praying for healing and you are seeing the demon crying and living immediately. You see, we're going to pray, people of God. Um... Uh, Praying out of time. We're going to pray. Say, Father, Father. I received the authority. You see, in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Jesus, he gave. He said, Jesus gave the power. He said, I give unto you. He said, I behold, I give the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. And over some. Oh. Say, over all the powers of the enemy, including the powers that are pressing you when you are sleeping. Including the, including the powers that are doing things, you know, that you cry about, that you weep about all the time. He said, I give you power over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Jesus has given it. You want to receive it tonight. Say, I receive the authority over all forces that have limited delayed and dominated me so far. I received the anointing for great exploit. Anointing to walk in power and authority. To displace and destroy the work of the devil. 
Go ahead and begin to pray. Receive the anointing for a new order. Receive right now the anointing for a new order. The anointing to put to flight every power, every force that has been against you in the name of Jesus. Zikemanto pupari prefo. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' precious name we are praying. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 14 to 15 says, there was, a, there was a little city and a few men in it. And a great king came against it and besieged it. And built, and built great snares around it. Now, somebody say now. There was, found, there was found in it a poor wise man. And he and his wisdom delivered the city. Yet, no one remembered this same poor man. Every time I read this passage, I think of uh, uh, the Kinade He said, why, why, why would he be wise and he, I, I'm, I'm, I'm poor? He would have said, okay, I have something to save the city. Give me this and I'll give you this. <laughs> I'm going to pray, people of God. You say, Father, the grace, the wisdom, and strategy that will always put my enemies at a, at a disadvantage. Let it rest upon me. Go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me that grace. Give me that wisdom. Give me the strategy in the name of Jesus that will always put my enemies at disadvantage. In the name of Jesus. Let it rest upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for that wisdom. In the name of Jesus that my enemies will not be able to gain say. In the precious name of Jesus, Zaka bada 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 boso to ye breke bo, me ba popo teri breke po zoto ye breke ba bos, ze breke pe se te ye breke po zoto ye breke bo, ma pata ri breke po zoto ye breke po tori breke bi ada bada bas, ze kriete sende ye breke buso, ze breke po zoto ye breke po zoto ye kriete de boso, Zaka sanda ya kraka po zoto ye breke bos. Nekete te si te ri breke buza Maka pato re brea foso Ze freke po soto yi prieke bo soto yi kiada My father, my God Zaka ya kranka da sanda ye kreke to soto yi breke manda Yes, O Lord, yes, O Lord, yes, O Lord Zaka ta sanda ye preke bo soto yi breke bo soto yi My father, my God Maka to zonto te pe te ri breke bo soto yi breke bo soto Zike neke soto ya basata ya praka bo soto ri kreke ze fete te te se se te ri preke mo soto ye preke bu soto meki adaba refre potoso ze kreke to soto ye bria kamanda ra kran katazanta ya braka bo soto ye bria kabo soto ya yes o lord yes o lord yes o lord yes o lord ke nembe de ri preke bo to ri bria ta sanda ri kreke za fata ri preke mo to soto ye bria ke bu soto ri bria kaba Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ze preke bozo zo zo se se vike boko tri preke bozo zo zo se se vike boz 
Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Kenana crack up also to rebreakable. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. You want to pray, people of God. There are things that happens to you that brings out, you know, who you are. In the book of uh, Judges, the Bible says, Judges chapter 14, he was going to see his, um, his fiancé. He went with his father and his mother, and a lion somewhere roared, you know, against, you know, against him. And the Bible says that the Spirit of the Almighty God came upon him, and he tore the lion into pieces as if he tore a young, he was, you know, tearing apart a young goat. You want to pray, people of God. You want to say that by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I receive the warrior's anointing to begin to terrorize, oppress us, afflict us of my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Kabatori breke manto se teri breke biada bada 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 baba. Me pozon tori breke biada bada breke buzo tori breke bosha. Zekata sanda ya braka pazanda ri breke bosoto. In the name of Jesus, I receive the warriors anointing. I receive the warriors anointing to begin to terrorize my oppressors. In the precious name of Jesus, zamono pori bre foto side. Zepike manda na bade re breke bosoto ye breke bosoto ye breke bende re breke bob. Manda re breke bosoto ye breke busoto ye breke busoto ri breke bos. Zefete te ri breke bosoto ye breke busoto ye kiada. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. See, one of my prayers, uh, 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 one of my prayers has been that God will help me to be to, to begin to manifest on the outside what I see on the inside. The book of Mark 11 says, For surely I say to you, whosoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things which he says, he believes those things he says, he said, whatever he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. There is an ability in God, people of God, that manifests on the outside what you see on the inside. That's why the Bible says in the book of George, chapter 3, verse, uh, verse 10, it said, let the weak say, I am strong. We need to get to that point that you will see a lame person and you tell the person, you say, Jesus heals you now. And the person will begin to walk. Said, receive restoration of sight to the blind right now, and eyes will be popping open. You want to pray, people of God. You want to pray, you know, that God will increase our faith, that the power of the Holy Spirit will begin to move mightily in us as from today, and will be empowered to begin to walk the works of God. Say, Father, increase my faith. Holy Spirit, begin to move mightily in me. As from today, empower me to begin to walk the works of God. Go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Ma po peteri bra pu senderi brekiada. Zefe keteteri breke bozo to yikriye debe senderi kada. Empower me to begin to walk the works of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Zabada bada 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 ba ye breke bozo to ye breke bozo to ye brekiada baba. Ma patari breke bozo to ye breke bozo to ye breke bozo to ye breke bo. Zeve debe 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 breke bozo to ye breke bo. Zeve breke bozo to ye breke bo. Ma kapata ye breke be sete ye breke bozo to ya. Zefe te 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 sete ye breke bozo to ye breke bozo to ye kriye kede. Zefe breke bozo to ye breke manda de breke yada bada 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 bada. 
Beru Brefenderia, Zekete Sete Yebreke Pozoto Yebreke Pozoto Yebreke Busa, Zefete Tete 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 Yebreke Pozoto Yebreke Bo, Zapata Yabraka Pazata Yebreke Pozoto Yebreke Mende. For in Jesus' precious name we are praying. In the book of Acts, chapter 9, the Bible said that Saul, of course, in the book of Acts, uh, you will see Saul uh, you know, breathing threats and uh, uh, taking Christians and putting them in, in jails, and he was happy doing it. And he, he was able to secure the interest of the chief priest. And, you know, for you to get the attention of, this, of, the, of, the, of the chief priest, you yourself must be a powerful person. So we're talking, about, we're talking about powers, colliding with powers in order to be able to frustrate and destroy God's people. But you know, Jesus met him on the road to Damascus. And Jesus said, Saul, uh, so, why are you doing this to me? And he said, you are Jesus, you know, you, are, you have already gone, you are there. How can I do that to you? You are, you know, you are there. And Jesus said, if you are doing it to my people, I'm the person that you are, you are, I'm the person that you are doing it to. What happened here? We saw our Lord Jesus appeared to fight the cause of his people. Therefore, you want to pray that God will arise on your behalf. And every enemy that is risen against you will fall after the order of Haman. Will fall after the order of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and begin to pray in the precious name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray, 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 pray. Zevede beke boko tori breke pozo to ye breki yada ba da ba da braka bo sondo de breke bo. Zevete te sende ye breki yada ba. Maka patare braka bo soto ye breke buzo so so so. Zevete ri breke bo soto ya. Arise on my behalf, O Lord. Let every enemy that has risen against me. Let them fall after the order of Amen. After the order of Korah, Dathan, and Abira. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, arise. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we are praying. Lastly, because of our time, we're going to be praying. You see, God's new order is by walking in the supernatural. As a Christian, I want, you to, I want you to know, people of God, that you are not ordinary. You are not ordinary. Jesus, you know, the, the Samaritan woman was still sitting, she, she was maybe sitting or standing, and she was still arguing. She said, but you Jews, you ate with Samaritan. How can you ask me to, how can you tell me, how can you tell me to give you water? What do you want to draw from? Well, from the time that Jesus said, you had five husbands. And the one that you are with right now is not yours. I believe that the woman put down. I believe that she put down whatever, you know, her thing is. And she said, are you? And from that time, she, Jesus got the attention of that woman. To the point that she was willing to go to the town and call everybody. And there was a revival. A revival held there. You want to pray, people of God. So one of the things that made people give Jesus attention was the fact that he operated in power. He operated in wisdom more than any other prophet. And this is the issue that, you know, the, other pe the people in the other religion that they have. They say, we know your Jesus is a prophet. Ah, but what makes a prophet a prophet? A, you know, a prophet is a prophet... By declaring and saying or seeing the things that God shows him. Now, this is the Jesus that put words in the mouth of the prophet. You know, how we then equate him, you know, to be, to be, to be, to be such. We're going to be praying, people of God. When Jesus operated in power, people said, who is this man that even the winds, the storm, they obey him. We have not seen a man like him. Who is this man that will tell the lame, the invalid, to, and tell them, take up your bed and walk? Who is this man that can tell a dead man and say, Lazarus, come forth? And Lazarus was coming. And he moved forward. 
Who is that man that can say to a little girl and say, little girl, I say unto thee, arise. Who is the one that will say, that will say, fill water pot with water? And we say, okay, go and give it to the master of ceremony. And by the time they brought it and they said, ah, where did you keep this wine? Who is the one that will bless five loaves of bread and two fishes? And after everyone has been satisfied, they were still able to gather 12 baskets. Who is this man? Who is this man that would walk on the sea? Who is this one that speaks with authority? You want to pray, people of God. Lastly, you want to pray. That you see, God is setting you up on a new order. Yeah. You say, Father, Father, on the strength of this new order, baptize me into greater works. Let my manifestation as a son of God begin now in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray, 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 pray. Kapu sendedi breki pese, zefike mandari breki bushoto ya, makata site teri breki bushoto yebriyadaba. My Father, my God, on the strength of this new order, on the strength of this new thing, oh Lord, that you have promised, in the name of Jesus, baptize me into greater works. Baptize me, oh Lord, into greater works. Let my manifestation as a son of God begin now. Let my manifestation as a son of God begin now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, your word says that the world is waiting. They are waiting, oh Lord. Cause greater works, O Lord, to be done, O Lord, through me. Cause greater works to be done, O Lord, in my, in my ministry. Cause greater works, O Lord, to be done, O Lord, in our church. In the precious name of Jesus, through, O Lord, our members. Through, O Father. Greater works, greater works, Lord. Greater works, O Lord. Greater works, Lord. Greater works, Lord. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and honor. Thank you, Father, Lord, for, the, for your anointing. Thank you, Father, for your power that you have released to us. Thank you for our prayers that you have answered. Father, I pray, let a new season begin now. Let's leave us in the precious name of Jesus. Father, let there be a release of your anointing upon everyone that is named, O oh Lord, under this commission. In the precious name of Jesus. Everywhere we turn, Father, let miracles occur. Father, everywhere we turn, let people believe in our God. In the precious name of Jesus. Father, let there be, I put an end to every form of struggle. Amen. Father, whatever thing that is common to man, whatever thing, oh Lord, that man is wallowing in, whatever thing, whatever problem, challenges that are common to man, as a result of this new order, Father, we excuse ourselves from it. In the precious name of Jesus, as from now we begin to soar, as from now we begin to glide, as from now it will begin to be prosperous in every area of our lives. In the precious name of Jesus, we begin to walk right now in, in, in in great dimensions of power, great dimensions of the anointing. We ask, oh Father, for a release of what has never been done in this ministry before. In the precious name of Jesus. Father, begin to raise the dead, oh Lord, as if you are healing addicts. In this ministry, in the precious name of Jesus. Let us of change, oh Lord, as a church that, that withholds God's presence. As a church that is filled with God's power. As a church that is filled with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The church of all possibilities. In the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the praise and glory. Thank you Father for answering us tonight. We give you honor and adoration. Thank you Father Lord God for tomorrow morning of snow. Thank you Father for, 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 for tomorrow evening. Thank you Father for Thursday. Thank you Father Lord God because oh Lord Friday shall be greater. In the, in the precious name of Jesus. We honor and we magnify you. 
Father, we ask all of our Father and the Lord, we ask that you bless him. We ask that you increase him. We ask that you anoint him greatly. Lord, that which you have committed into his hands, Father, will not fail. It will not progress. It will not increase in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the praise and glory. I hear in my spirit that the doors of all possibilities are open. Thank you, Father. Jesus' precious name we are praying. Give a hand to the Lord, people of God.